Hey Pisces, thank you for tuning in with me for this weekly message for the week of um, October 28th, 2024. Um, this is pre-recorded on the 24th. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Starting with your present energy, Pisces. Pisces, fair. please show us a message for Pisces. What is Pisces present energy? Pisces present energy. Show us Pisces, present energy spirit. What is Pisces, present energy for the week of October 28th? Please show. The Hermit in reverse. You could be dealing with a Virgo or you may have Virgo placements. But the energy is surrounding you coming out of, um, maybe you could have been uh, isolated, um, keep it to yourself. Um, but the present energy is like, okay, I'm going to come out of my shell. I'm going to come out of my shell. Yes. Oh, this is clearly saying I'm coming out of my shell. Um, the sun and the queen of wands. You're, you're getting your sexy back or your handsome back. However you feel, you know, sexy men or women. Um, but you could feel more confident. Um, maybe you just recover from something or you just, you know, mentally, physically recover from something. But I feel like you're coming out of the dark or coming out of this isolation or just keeping yourself hidden. Um you're wanting to be seen. Uh, this is the present energy. You want to shine like like the sunshine that you are, that you're showing up as. The, you want to be seen. So, um, or not, if it's not like publicly, you just feel good. You feel vibrant. You feel attractive. You feel um, beautiful. You feel, yeah, you feel sexy, you know, however. You feel good about yourself. You could have been in the dumps for some time, but now you're... You're ready to come out of that. You can be dealing with the Leo. Um, show us uh Pisces desire. What is Pisces? What is Pisces desiring? You could also be releasing a Virgo, releasing um, releasing someone. Show us um Pisces desire for the week of October twenty eighth. Pisces desire. The world. You're desiring to travel, possibly. You're desiring to, um, yeah, I just heard bucket list. I'm like, okay, show us more. Okay, and then the higher pen. Yeah, you want to commit to what you, you know, to your bucket list. Like, I, I want to do the things that I said I wanted to do. Um, for some of you, you're desiring completion um, to uh, solidify something. Um, this could be possibly a marriage. You may want something committed, committal. You want someone to commit to you. You want a marriage. This could be something that you're looking into, or this is a Taurus. Um, your desire is Taurus that could be at a distance from you. Show us more. Um, what is in a helpful energy for Pisces? What is helpful for Pisces? What would be helpful for Pisces? Okay, uh, what? Is that, come again? <laughs> Not the devil. That's helpful for you? What is it? Okay, maybe a Capricorn. Okay, we're going to say that. A Capricorn could be very helpful for you at this time. But let's see more on this devil. And the helpful energy. Show us more on the devil. Okay. I just heard releasing bondage. What is that? Show us more on this energy for the helpful energy for Pisces. Six of Wands. Okay. So what's helpful for you is you know, whatever it is that you're attracting or that you're wanting, you can definitely attract it. They want you to understand that, um, you know, you thinking it and believing it, you will receive it. That six of wands is bringing in that victory, that success, that recognition. Someone could be receiving public recognition um, or 
someone is uh someone could be advising or giving you some type of help to receive this public rec recognition this could be um a leo capricorn energy uh Let's get the obstacle. What is the obstacle? Show us the obstacle for Pisces. What is the obstacle for Pisces, Spirit? Please show. The obstacle is the Queen of Cups. So a mother figure or this Queen of Cups could be someone. Um, it could be a lover. Okay, wait a minute. Hmm. Hold on. <laughs> show us more on a Queen of Cups and an obstacle. Because it could be, or you, you you could be um, cha causing challenges and obstacles for yourself. Let's see more on this Queen of Cups. Judgment. A Scorpio. So this Queen of Cups could be an obstacle to gain this commitment with this fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Leo in particular, or Capricorn. Someone's mother or baby mother or significant other could be the obstacle or this is how you feel because someone is wanting a renewal, wanting to renew a connection with this Queen of Cups. So someone is feeling like this is this has become the obstacle. Someone could have been in the dumps about this and but now they're over, you know, they're overcoming that. They're gaining clarity and You know, this is giving me like if someone choosing another lover or another woman or another man, however this is, um, it's like, you know, feelings was hurt at first. You was depressed or just felt down and out about it. But then you just woke up one day like, what the heck am I crying or sad? Or do you know, like, I am beautiful. I am handsome. Like, who, you know, regardless, like you you feel like, what am I? What am I whining about? Like, you had to tell yourself, look at yourself, like, do you know who you are? <laughs> like, come on, no. You got your sexy back, your handsome back, you got it going on. And you realize, like, what am I, what am I tripping over? All right. So, but the same at the same time, even though this is this could be what you're you're telling yourself, but deep down the energy is showing, or this could be the other person. But deep down, the energy is showing that this is still bothers bothersome, um, because the obstacle is showing a renewal with someone else. Let me get more on this judgment and a Queen of Cups. Yeah, it's like a, a recovered connection here. All right, so what's in the near future? What's in the near future for Pisces? Near future for Pisces. Seven of Pentacles and a uh, hangman, your energy. The hangman is your energy. You're investing it into yourself. Okay. Yeah, the seven of pentacles for the hangman. In the near future, that's what you're gonna be doing. Investing into yourself. Show us more on the near future with this hangman. And the seven of pentacles. Uh oh. Not the magician in reverse. There's some manipulation. Someone could be trying to manipulate someone into a marriage or use magic. Someone is trying to have someone stuck to them. Someone is investing into... Ooh, someone could be giving someone an ultimatum. Someone could be bribing someone into marriage, getting someone to commit to them. Uh -uh. Show us more. But it's under manipulation. I just heard a spell. So it could be spell under a spell. Show us more. Mm -mm -mm. Um, we have the chariot. Show us more. Look at that. Seven of Cups. Nothing but manipulation here. Someone could be dealing with a cancer. We have Gemini, Virgo, Aries, Pisces. Um, show us more. On the Seven of Cups. Someone is deciding to move forward. Someone is not allowing or letting this manipulation take over them. Like, yeah. 
Someone, it's a lot of secrets. Someone been doing moon magic, spell work. That's exactly what this reading is saying. But someone is not in love with someone. Someone is not, someone is letting go. Someone is not wanting a lover. I don't know. Someone is not choosing someone. And that could be the person that's trying to do the spell work on someone. Yeah, someone got to be cuckoo. Like, what? I don't know, Pisces. I mean, if you're doing that, you better stop. Okay? It's just not right. You never want to do any type of spell work to bind or to uh, uh, force someone against their will. And if someone is doing this to get someone to marry them or get someone to be with them, that's, that's messed up. But, Pisces, this could be happening in your energy or you could be... Uh, maybe you hearing about this or this is you doing this. Take it however it resonates. Please and thank you. But there is um show us a message here for uh Pisces. Someone could be in a same sex relationship as well. Two men here, two women. Someone could have been in a poly relationship as well. Someone is wanting to let go and go and renew things with someone. Let me see more, Spirit. Or this could be someone is wanting to renew things with you. That was more um for Pisces. What else for Pisces? Heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. That's what I was saying. So it's more for Pisces. What else? Pisces. Pisces. Someone fell out of love. It's just not. It's no interest there anymore. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in a moment, having fun. Yes, I know that's right. Have fun, enjoy life. Don't let, you got to understand when a connection don't work, it's not the end of the world. I know it can definitely, it could hurt, but don't stay stuck in that energy. Um, Definitely do the work, heal yourself, because boy, you got to understand if that didn't work, it's someone else better for you. Just like it's someone better for that person. We may think what you know what we want, but if it's not meant, it's not meant. Show us a message for Pisces. So it's time for someone to let go because someone's trying to have a tight grip. Trying to hold on real tight to somebody. And it's becoming a burden, not just for you, but for this person. Show us a message for Pisces. Anything else? It's a, nothing else for this. Oh, big change. Codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block, restraint. Exactly. That's what I was just saying. Like, someone is not letting up. Don't want to let go of somebody. Show us a message for Pisces. Pisces. Someone is obsessed. Show us a message for Pisces. Pisces. <coughs> yeah, someone is moving on to another relationship. This could be you and your uh, uh, ex is obsessed and can't let go of you or this is you. Um, I mean, this is someone that's moving on from you into a new relationship and you can't let go and it's time to move on. Because there's definitely some obsession here. But it's due to control. Like, someone likes control. Someone likes to control, like, possession. Show us more. Yeah, I said that too. Um, this, this is, someone is not in love with someone. So it's unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And someone is like, no, let's give it a try. Let's give it a chance. Let's work it out. 
we have chemistry. Look at this. It's like, please, like I know you know I know you like me. I know you love me. I know you attracted to me and this person like, but I'm not. Like I'm looking away. I'm not even looking at you. Like what are you talking about? <laughs> so either this is how you're feeling, Pisces, or this is how this person is feeling towards you. So, yeah. Someone may need to honestly discuss this to the other person. If it haven't been discussed, a conversation, an honest conversation needs to be had. And yeah, someone need to love themselves first. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. All right. All right, Pisces, that is it. Please take it however it resonates for you. If this is at all your message this week, um, of course, be honest with self if you know if you are in a on the end of um needing to release someone just do the work and i um, your 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 person will be um be uh with you soon as you can heal from this situation and then for those who are on the other end and it's your ex that's not letting go of you They need to, okay? They need to, but at the same time, don't feed into it because you're going to make that energy linger even longer and make it harder for you to move on. So, I don't know. Take it however it resonates. Uh, Pisces. Oh, let me see what they want to say with the Halloween deck. Pisces. Let's see. Let's see. Show us a message for Pisces. Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, one more, Pisces, all right, Pisces, masquerade, yeah, someone was wearing a mask, I feel like someone was wearing a mask in this connection, or, you know, um, maybe someone been trying to deal with this for so long, and finally realized, like, look, I'm just not happy here, I'm not this is, I'm not attracted to you, or, you know, this is you saying this, or this could be this person, take it however. I'm not attracted to you. Not that you may not be attractive, or this person may not be attractive. It's not that. It could be just be due to the love. Someone fell out of love. It's unrequited love, and someone may have um, lost interest because of the connection and how um, it's a lack of chemistry, or, you know, maybe it was just a sexual chemistry. It could have been a lot of passion due to sex but that's it and someone realized like that's all you bring to the table like we can't have fun we can't have a conversation without an argument or without you uh talking down on me or making me feel less than or something like that so you know what uh i'm not really happy with this so you possibly say you know what the heck with this i'm not i'm you you once upon a time you may have looked at this person like they were the most attractive person but then once you really got the inner them, it's like, mm -mm. once you've seen that inner, that inner, oh man, that overrides anything outside. So once that was seen, it was just like, mm -mm, I don't want this no more. So yeah, someone, someone could have been, or they could have like, you know, tried to withheld that, like possibly even thought like maybe... Maybe it's just now, you know, I'm going to just give it some time. And they had this mask on, not really voicing it, speaking it, having this honest conversation. And that was the mask. Well, the mask is falling off now because someone is pulling away. And, like, I don't want this no more. So, or this is what was said. And someone is steady holding on to someone's energy, even though this could have ended years ago, you know, or months ago. However, someone is steady holding on and it's time to let go. Um, as said in many different decks, I just shuffled. So, yeah, heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad separation. Controlling has a block for strength. Yeah. All right, Pisces, that's all I have for you at this time. And until next time, many blessings.